Bugatti Chiron Super Sport Golden Era is a one-off masterpiece. This special Bugatti celebrates the company's storied past with hand-drawn and hand-painted depictions of its most famous automotive creations. The Golden Era is a celebration of Bugatti's greatest hits as the company winds down production of the W16 engine and transitions to an electrified future under new parent company Rimac. Hand-drawn sketches of legendary Bugattis cover the car sides. They took more than 400 hours to produce. The Golden Era uses a Bugatti Chiron Super Sport as its base, which packs an 1,578 horsepower version of the quad-turbocharged 8.0-liter W16 and the special long-tailed carbon fiber bodywork from the 300 miles per hour Super Sport 300 Plus. In our hands, the Super Sport shot to 60 miles per hour in a blistering 2.2 seconds and only needed 14.8 seconds to crush the 200 miles per hour mark. Jacob and Company Astronomia Sky Celestial Panorama Gravitational Triple Axis Turbillion Watch Hands On At Basel World 2016, Jacob and Company introduced a brand new version of the crowd-pleasing Astronomia Megawatch called the Jacob and Company. Astronomia Sky Celestial Panorama Gravitational Triple Axis Turbillion. Not intended as a replacement, but rather as a supplement to the original Jacob and Company. Astronomia, hands on here, the Jacob and Company. Astronomia Sky adds a few complications and actually has a smaller case size. Down from the 50mm wide size of the standard Astronomia, the Jacob and Company. Astronomia Sky is just 47mm wide and 25mm thick. No one wears a watch like this because it is slim, but Jacob and Company was called upon to make a more wearable version of its interesting Astronomia. Xiaomi unveils CyberDog 2, a more unique looking successor to the original CyberDog. The original CyberDog was designed to look like a replica of Boston Dynamics Spot, but the CyberDog 2 has a more distinctive appearance. It has a completely redesigned body that resembles a Doberman, with two small ears on both sides of the head. This makes it look more like a real dog than the previous generation. CyberDog also has a decision-making system that uses 19 sensors dedicated to vision, touch, and hearing. In particular, it is stuffed with an RGB camera, an interactive AI-backed camera, four TOF sensors, a LiDAR sensor, a depth camera, an ultrasonic sensor, a fisheye lens sensor, a force sensor, and two ultra-wide band sensors. It also has four microphones and is compatible with the Xiaomi AI voice algorithm. Hyundai Mobis Reveals Hyundai's craftivating Elevate Walking Car concept gives parallel parking a pinch of innovation, a new prototype vehicle where the car moves like a crab. With robot legs that stretch and shrink, it uses a unique crab-like movement to maneuver through tight spaces, potentially solving the age-old issue of parallel parking. Developed by Hyundai Mobis, the company released a demo video featuring their Ionic 5 on the roads at Proving Ground in Seosan. And guess what? They didn't hold back. This vehicle comes equipped with the e-corner system that will reshape the way people will drive. Now, say goodbye to crowded cities parking woes with this innovative technology as this can greatly enhance urban mobility and accessibility. Nanoavionics completes LEO satellite for studying black holes. Tampa, Florida, Nanoavionics is preparing to ship a nano satellite slated to launch this fall to study black holes and neutron stars from low Earth orbit, the Lithuanian manufacturer announced August 7th. 
The company provided its six youth satellite platform for the NinjaSat mission and integrated it with a payload from Japanese research institute Riken that would track the X-ray photons these compact objects emit to explore how matter accretes to them. After launching on SpaceX's next Falcon 9, Transporter Rideshare Mission, NinjaSat would spend two years in LEO observing persistently bright X-ray objects. Targets include Scorpius X-1, a binary star system with a fast-spinning neutron star that makes it one of the brightest X-ray objects trackable from near-Earth orbit. Ngui M20 Review, a full suspension 1000 watts electric moped for a budget price. The Ngui M20 electric bike looks like another Super 73 knockoff. And it is. But the bike also has two things going for it. It has an option for a second battery pack to double its range, and it also offers full suspension for less than the price of a non-suspension Super 73. So what's the trade-off? Well, nothing here is amazing quality. It's all fairly basic, decent level stuff. But nothing is going to knock your socks off when it comes to the build quality. Even so, there are plenty of redeeming qualities. From the long range to the high power and even the dual headlights, Ngui is made up for quality with sheer quantity. And it actually works pretty well. TCL Nxtwear S, the latest XR Smart Glasses. Explore a crisp and clear cinema-like feeling delivered by 45 pixels per degree resolution and dual 1080p Sony FHD micro OLED panels while stereo speakers bring ultra-rich sound. 201-inch giant screen. Engineered with the 201-inch screen at 6 meters distance, field of view 45 degrees, dual micro OLED display with 1920 by 1080 at 2D, 3840 by 1080 at 3D content and ultra-large screen, Smart Glasses offers a cinematic visual experience. True to life visuals. Dual high resolution micro OLED displays with up to 3,840 pixels, providing an immersive viewing experience. Stunning audio. With the built in speakers, Smart Glasses brings dynamic stereo sound. The ultra linear unit delivers a better bass sound. The private mode allows you to enjoy videos without disturbing the people nearby. Outrider USA Coyote is an all-electric 4WD that could change the world. It's built for both disabled and able-bodied folks to get out and enjoy the great outdoors. The Outrider USA Coyote is an extremely off-road capable, all-terrain vehicle that the company says can fit into the back of a mid-sized sport utility vehicles. Since they're built to order, Riders can choose between the company's proudly American-made 3000W mid-drive powertrain or the 5000W hub motor 4WD system. The latter powertrain, Outrider says, is exceptionally quiet and ideal for both hunters and disabled riders who can benefit from the 4WD system. The proprietary aluminum monocoque frame keeps the Coyote both lightweight and strong. Xiaomi Robot Vacuum X10 Extreme cleaning, extraordinarily automated No washing pads or emptying the dustbin by hands Fully automatic hands-free cleaning The fully automatic smart all-in-one station supports all-in-one multi-dimensional functions such as auto dust collection, pad washing, hot dry and refill Dust collection frequency and mop cleaning modes can also be set for completely hands-free use. Automatic pad washing. Rotary scraping for superior results. The strong water flow blasts the cleaning tray and quickly soaks the pads, rotating and scraping at high speed to remove stains before automatic spin drying for hands-free spotless cleaning. Flying Waterbus Regent Sea Glider 
This new all-electric seaplane glides above the water like a hovercraft. Flying at high speeds on a cushion of air, the Regent Sea Glider will be a much faster way to commute between cities and coastal communities. Want to get from New York to the Hamptons in record time? How about Boston to Nantucket? This new electric aircraft takes off and lands on water the same way a float plane does, but flies at 180 miles per hour just above the water's surface. Designed by two aerospace engineers, the Regent Sea Glider will serve as a very fast commuter between urban centers and coastal areas. Regent says the Sea Glider's 180 mile range will be at speeds ranging from 145 to 180 miles per hour. After the Sea Glider lands on the water, it switches to a foiling boat as it taxis to the docks. Amazon starts selling lettuce grown with the help of robot farmers. What's the first thing that comes to mind when hearing about sustainable farming that uses essential oils and beneficial insects instead of chemical pesticides? I bet some of you might be picturing a small, self-sufficient farm somewhere in a remote rural area. But what we're actually talking about is a futuristic, high-tech greenhouse located in Pescadero, California, just 45 miles away from San Francisco. This is where a startup called Hippo Harvest is growing greens using stuff like machine learning and robot farmers. This is how sustainable farming blends with high-tech. The main innovation is a closed loop, direct-to-root fertilizer system that claims to use less than half of the typical amount of fertilizers. Also, the entire growing process requires up to 92% less water. Cristiano Ronaldo has bought a million dollar watch that is customized to match his Bugatti Chiron. Boutique watch brand Jacob & Company has revealed its latest creation, a one-off Bugatti watch custom made for none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. The 37-year-old soccer legend worked closely with Jacob Barabo, founder of Jacob & Company, to design the bespoke piece according to his exact requirements. According to the watchmaker, the timepiece has been carefully styled and crafted to match the personalized Bugatti Chiron owned by Ronaldo. Judging by the pictures, the one-of-a-kind timepiece is based on the watchmaker's Bugatti Chiron Turbillion Baguette model, which happens to be one of the most complex timepieces ever made. According to the details given by Jacob and Company, the CR7 timepiece is completely covered with 232 white baguette diamonds and 109 black sapphires, which totals to 21 CT of gemstones adorning the dial and the tonneau-shaped case that measures 55 mm wide and 20 mm tall. Navicam Registered Stomach Capsule Endoscopy System Introducing the Navicam Registered Stomach Capsule System, an advanced technology that combines magnetic control with innovative and intelligent software to give medical practitioners external robotic control of the capsule inside the human body. The minimally invasive procedure with Navicam Registered can be guided in real time in five dimensions, two rotational and three translational planes by an operator from either a control console or remote console. In a large, prospective, multi-center blinded study, the Navicam registered stomach system was shown to be a safe method of visualizing the gastric mucosa through remote magnetic manipulation without the need for intubation or sedation point two. Elon Road Electric Road System Elon Road is a high-tech electric road concept. It auto-charges all types of electric vehicles when parked as well as when driving. Electric roads extend driving range and reduce the need of large and heavy batteries. Our vision is to electrify the entire transport sector and make fossil fuel a thing of the past. With clean energy from the sun, 
wind and sea in an emerging charging infrastructure that is accessible for everyone and with gradually more and more self-driving vehicles shared in a smart way drastically reduced co2 emissions will follow elon road involves a conductive rail laid on top of the road a conductive pickup under the vehicle connects to the electric rail via sliding contacts the rail is only active when covered by the vehicle, which makes it safe in city environment. BMW CE02 is a rad little e-motorbike for the city. The new electric motorbike launches alongside a new set of smart glass that puts key info in the rider's line of sight. BMW Motorrad is launching a new electric motorbike called CE02 which is designed for running around town while looking far less dorky than a mobility scooter. The electric motor makes up to 15 horsepower and there are two 1.96 kilowatt hour batteries on board. BMW Motorrad says that's enough for about 56 miles of driving range. A set of smart glass is also being introduced. Wearing them, Riders get vital information such as speed and turn-by-turn -turn navigation right in their line of sight. Archer Aviation to deliver Midnight Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Fleet for U.S. Air Force. Archer Aviation has received a $142 million contract to supply up to six midnight electric vertical takeoff and landing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft for the U.S. Air Force. The delivery will include corresponding flight test and certification data, pilot training, and aircraft sustainment services. The agreement builds on the company's previous work for the Air Force's AFWORKS Agility Prime program, which validated the vertical flight market and electric vertical takeoff and landing solutions for U.S. defense applications. For the initiative, Archer produced its first midnight electric vertical takeoff and landing platform that can carry up to 1,000 pounds (450 kilograms) of payload with low noise operability. This historic agreement reflects the steadfast commitment by our armed forces to embrace the cutting-edge technology our electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft offer, Archer CEO and founder Adam Goldstein stated.